YouTube, Chase Specs here, coming back at you with another video, and today is shoulder day, um, just ha just got to the gym, uh, it's about, oh, it's dead on 10 o'clock, um, got here on my own because I missed yesterday because I had really bad toothache, I was in bed like all day and I couldn't eat anything so I lost bare gains, um, but it's feeling alright today, taking loads of painkillers and loads of antibiotics and stuff like that, so I should feel alright for the gym. Um, just sipping on some pre-workout, so of course you thought Icy Blue Raz. Um, it doesn't taste too great this morning because I literally just brushed my teeth and then left for the gym and I've been drinking it on the way and you know what it's like, even if you have like an orange or something like that, just stuff just doesn't taste as good after you just brush your teeth. Um, so yeah, so I'll see you in the gym. So I couldn't get much recorded today just due to the fact that I went quite early so it's proper busy at the start of my workout then it started to die down so I could could record because there wasn't too much people in the shot and things like that um, so I couldn't get the shoulder presses in which I started on which I did one light two heavy one light uh, went up to about 30 kg I did two heavy on now you can see side raises before this I did standing side raises on 12 kg and then went up to 14 kg and then you sort of sat down there just did four sets of 10 on 8 kg and then I moved on to a superset. I did some upright rows on the cables, um, superset with uh, front raises with the same easy curl bar. Uh, I did five sets on this, and I just built up the weight each time on the um, upright rows, but I kept the weight the same on the front raises just because it was a perfect weight, so I didn't want um, to like swing too much or keep and I wanted to keep good form as you can see here I'm not really swinging too much my back's quite stationary and I really felt this was a great superset it really just I don't know my shoulders were so pumped um, I felt the contraction so much so I'll probably be doing that again and I recommend it to anybody and I, like I said like I always say hitting a lot of side delts is just good because obviously most pushing movements you're hitting your front delt um, and the side delts tend to lag on a lot of people so and they are lagging on me so I hit a lot of side delts so I did about 10, 10 to 12 sets and then I did some shrugs and some rear delts on the machine but I couldn't record that either because they're quite far apart so it's hard to record them both and then also being on my own it's quite hard to record so now you can see me doing some um, alternating curls um, in a neutral grip then coming up to a supinated grip so the the wrist facing up and um, this is 22 kg this is the most I've ever done um, and I got eight reps on each arm in one of the sets I got six reps and eight reps and four reps which is you'll see now this is my drop set and I'm proper happy with the growth that my arms are making pretty much hitting them every single day and that just seems to work really well they don't feel too taxed it's just it's just right it's perfect so so I'm probably gonna be heading up the gym again later um, Alex is going up later because he's just finished work and I haven't seen him since he's been on this course so it'll be nice to go see him nice to see how his training's going and how the course is going because he's basically getting up at half six travelling to the place of the courses which is in Bournemouth which is about 30 to 45 minutes away depending on traffic and then he's not getting home till half six has to go to the gym and then he has to obviously go straight to bed, have some food, then go straight to bed, because he's got to be back up at 6.30, so he's feeling proper drained recently, um, so it'll be nice to go up there with him, because he's been training on his own for a while, well, we've all been training on our own for a while, um, so I'll give him a spot, I might do some accessory work, and I need to hit some abs, because I've been lagging on them for the past few days, just due to this toothache, I've been really feeling up for doing abs, because um, abs at the end of the session, is sometimes you're just like, oh, I can't be bothered, even though you have to push through and do it. So I'm going to hit them hard, probably do like a couple of circuits and get some weight in there. And I'll probably hit some accessory work, like I said, like maybe a few exercises on chest, um, not arms because obviously I've already hit them, and maybe some sh maybe some back or something like that. I'll probably hit a bit more shoulders with Alex just due to the fact that he's training um, shoulders as well today because uh, he missed leg day because he slept from 6.30 till the next morning in 6.30 in the morning so he had like 12 hours sleep that shows how shattered he's been um, and I then moved on to close grip bench press this is one of the best mass builders for the triceps 
because obviously you're shifting quite a lot of weight um, just on your triceps and I haven't done this in such a long time so I thought I'd hit it again and it's a good way to gauge um, how your progression's going, how much strength you've made. If you haven't hit something for a while, hit it again and you can compare to what you did. I know it's probably quite hard to gauge what you did last time because if you haven't done it for a while, you probably forgot what you did. Uh, but I roughly knew um, and I couldn't even hit 60 kg for 10. I got 9 at push and I got 15 now in the first set. So that obviously shows great progression now up to 70. Um, as you can see, the form's not great because I had to grind out reps and I'm on my own. I don't have a spotter. I then moved up to 80 kg and finished it off there. Um, this has been everything. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace. The shoulders and look how nice it is today. Sun glazing out. Don't often get this in the UK. But yeah, probably going to go home, sit in the garden, post workout meal. Um, Let's drive home. Just going to sip on my post workout shake. It's got some oats in there, 50 grams. Two scoops of PhD banana, which is about roughly about 50 grams of protein, um, and some creatine. You know, just five grams of that. So I'll catch you. Post workout meal. I've got some pasta, some chicken, and some cheese on top. Overall, I think this is about uh, 900 to a thousand calories. So it's quite a lot of my calorie intake gone already. But um, it's a big meal. It's quite starchy, so it'll fill me up for quite a long time. Got some agua on deck with it, um, and I, so I couldn't have any pasta sauce because you ran out, so I just had to have white pasta. So instead of having pasta sauce, I put some cheese on top, um, and just make it taste nice. So yeah, that's the post-workout meal. Catch you in a bit.